I'm in the venue just now, down at Oran Moor, with Lear Butler, who is the author of next week's play, Juicy Fruits. Lear, it's lovely to have you with us. Thanks for coming. It's great to be here. Tell us a bit about the play. Um, <clears throat> it's a very strange, surreal comedy about two friends who haven't seen each other in about six years, uh, and meet, uh, meeting, together, meeting together after six years and, and having a coffee together. <laughs> That's basically the play. That's a, that's a, that's a good start. <laughs> and with, with lots of caffeine and sugar and croissants, their, their amicable relationship turns a little bit sour as it goes on. Right. One, of, one, of the, uh, one of the friends has kind of settled down okay. with, a, with a barrister husband and yeah. a baby, and uh, very much a suburbanite, right. uh, a metropolitan suburbanite. Right. Uh, her friend, Nina, uh, who's, who wanted to meet her this cafe, has been travelling uh, the rainforests in Borneo, taking yeah. care of uh, uh, orangutans yes. with her uh, dreadlocked boyfriend Kevin. And she's just returned from Borneo. We don't quite know, but I know why. Right. But the title doesn't reveal why straight away yet. So no, but, and uh, so it begins. It begins fairly amicable, but very quite quite quickly it turns to a kind of madness. Yeah. Uh, which which and uh, and um, yeah, we we just, we discover why. Yeah. Together. It's, in a way, it's almost a comedy of manners as well as uh, yeah. uh, it's dark. And it's, yeah. Uh, I mean, it started, I started writing just as two friends having a cup of coffee and seeing, uh, seeing where, where it was going. And the more I wrote, the kind of the darker and the stranger it, it became. Yeah. So I kind of discovered why they were there as I was writing. Um, so it was, it was a really fun play to write. And um, I think it's, yeah, I think it's perhaps shedding an insight, or trying to shed some kind of insight into why w women maybe of a certain age have, uh, have deal with the, deal with how the, the prospect of having, chil having children but also being independent. Right. Uh, I think that, that the clash of those two, yeah. of those two things and is quite explicit at least. The difficulty of being satisfied with the hand you're dealt with. Yeah. And they're both chronically dissatisfied with yes. who, who, they, who they are, whether it's going off and being an, an adventurer yes. in, the, in the wild, or whether it's being a, a, a effectively a stay-at-home stay mum. Yeah. They're both chronically dissatisfied, so how do they And I have to tell you, it's very funny. Um, Leo, you've been very busy. Uh, recently, you, you, you've written a play about Osama bin Laden, yep. and you've written a rock musical yes. set uh, it's what it was set. It's contemporary, uh, contemporary rock opera, um, and um, it was really kind of inspired by classic rock, op rock operas like um, yeah and, and, and The Wall. Right. And thought we would do, do something in that vein rather than doing something that's maybe a pastiche or kind of a, a jukebox musical. Do something that's purely rock opera that's, of course, lively and a little funny, but also has a, a real, real heart that's right. contemporary. So that was great. To, that, that was great to do. Again, a, f a female uh, protagonist. So right. it was the first female uh, lead character in, 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 a, in a rock opera. Right. Who's again chronically dissatisfied. Right. A, a theme that's running through right. my work. And uh, and a, and uh, when she reaches the the end of her tether, she withdraw withdraws or regresses into a into a sort of hallucinatory world called the Catfish Club right. and finds her in a rock goddess. Right. And then and then returns uh, and then returns to the real uh, and that the was, real world. That was commissioned by the Royal Court? Yeah it was part it was an experiment that the Royal Court did allow, allowed me uh, allowed, allowed me and my writing partner to, to, to do to put on a to put on a rock opera. And you're also a guitarist. Yeah I was, yeah I played wrote the stage. music for the piece. Yep wrote the music and the lyrics and it was on stage playing and that was Wow well, so it was good. And there lot, might lot be an fun. opportunity for a fifty minute rock opera oh, here. Do it, yeah, great. You should do it, they'd love it. Excellent. Um, You've also, you've also got lots of stuff in the pipeline. You, you've just written, or are writing, a new play about gangsters in Sheffield? Yeah, I've actually been writing it for quite a while. It's kind of, it's, it's been, it's kind of a, a labour of love for, me, just, uh, for this play. It's a play I wanted to write for a lot of years. I'm from Sheffield, uh -huh. and I know, in, and um, being from Sheffield, there's a, there's a long sort of folk history, quite famous folk history of uh, 
in Sheffield. Uh, and one of the, one of those stories being about the gangsters, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the gang wars in Sheffield in the 1920s mm -hmm. that, that occurred straight after the First World War. Yes. When the when the city when the country was in kind of economic disarray. Yes. And, out, and out of that grew these uh, gangs who pro basically profiteered from from the depression. Yes. And it's about it's about the gang wars and. Uh, um, specifically about a gangster called George Mooney right. uh, and, and who was kind of a king, the king of the city at that time uh -huh. really. but it's about his downfall. So you were a few out of place in Glasgow? <laughs> no, he, I, think he, I think he probably went to Glasgow a few, yeah, a few times. I bet he probably, did. Probably when he was on the, on the, on the run from, the, uh, on the, run from the, the war office. Right. <laughs> But um, yeah, and so, so that's a lot, of, and that's kind of a, that's a, um, it, it, it's kind of part Western, part Greek tragedy. Right, it should be a lot of fun. And that we, that that's been commissioned by Hampstead Theatre. Yeah. yeah. Well, Leo is a very busy, very talented playwright, and I am delighted that we're producing his play Juicy Fruits next week, and I urge you to come and see it because I think you'll have a great lunchtime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.